and it's uh, gonna be a special one. Here we go. Just things were going great, and then, you know, but now I have to look back and he got to know that I signed a record deal. He got to, to know that, you know, I went to Warner Brothers and, you know, literally it was, you know, days after that it seems like when, you know, the accident happened and my dad passed away. But I don't know that you ever get over something like that, but I mean, I'm at least to the point to where I'm wanting, I want to help others that have been through the same thing. see us and there's not a car coming your way I'd like you guys more in the middle of the road than the right lane over you know I hate that we're, why we're here and I hate everything that's happened but I think that this is going to be something special for Cole that he'll have for the rest of his life and I just think it's a great story that we're going to tell so we're really excited From the beginning, it was like a wedding or something. I couldn't, it was like I had to stay away from my family because, you know, I, I get it. Because they, you know, Mike wanted a real moment, and that's all this video is, is real moments. There's nothing, there's nothing fake about it. I mean, it's my real family. It's really me seeing them for the first time in, you know, a little while. Not since my dad died, but in months. You know, I don't get to see them. They live a long way away. So this was, that was a great move to just keep us apart because that first scene, you know, I'm pulling up to my brother's house on the bus and you see my nephews and nieces, they, you know, you see everybody kind of coming out, getting excited to see me. Let's shoot the family coming out, the brothers coming out through the, everyone. So shoot shallow soft as you can be through the kids walking and we just see, I want to see Jay and, and walk out the door. I want to see Jay and I want to see Richie walking out just as they did, but I want to see the perspective from the bus going straight at them and really see. Long it. lens. Yes. Okay. These are things that families may not want to put out in the public's eye. You have to respect the family in this. And they were so open to the idea, and I know it was very special, something that I can cherish for, for the rest of their lives to have captured, you know, on film. You're good. That's good. We're fine. Okay. Cut. And then you're going to happen to notice this propped up in the back. Yeah. Then when we get in town, you're going to get out here. The script is great, but it's literally what you would do, I think, if you got home. And that's why it's so natural. I mean, the one of the most special things about the video to me is getting to perform. It's, it's a small performance shot, but it's in my front yard of the house that, you know, I grew up until I was in fifth grade. I mean, those are the memories, you know, riding your bike down the sidewalks, running to your buddy's house down the roads. I mean, those are the memories that, you know, it's so far back in time, you know, it's being back there was just, it, I mean, it puts you right back there and it just, it's crazy how much just being back somewhere, being in the moment, it can, can take you back. Ready? You know, this is me going back there, you know, and literally for the first time, the last time I was in Glenville, Georgia, I was at my dad's funeral. For whatever reason, we filmed me calling him to tell him I got a record deal is, you know, the same reason I didn't go back because here we are shooting the video to a song that I want to be as powerful as it can be. I mean, I, I literally, the first time I walked up there, we that's what's in the video. And, you know, me breaking down is, um, you know, that's, that's all real. You know, they were set up offside to where I couldn't really even see anybody. It was because they didn't know how it was going to go. I didn't know how it was going to go. It, you know, chances were we weren't going to be able to use the first time I went up there because it was, you know, going to be rough. But, you know, I'm glad we did get a chance to. I've waited to release a song that was powerful that could, you know, help somebody through a tough time maybe. And here I've been thinking the whole time that, you know, finally I get to release a song that's going to help folks. But after shooting the video, I mean, this song, I mean, it's looking like it may be helping me more than it is anybody else. You 
you know, just seeing your last name in granite like that, I mean, it's it's real. I mean, that's the realest thing I've ever seen. And I, and I just, you know, just walking up, I remember just kind of shaking my head like, no way, like this, how in the world did you, you know, have to go so soon? But, you know, I, I think it's, you know, I didn't know what else to do, but just, I mean, that was a chance for me to just kind of, you know, let it out. And that's, uh, that's something that I don't think I've really had a chance to do. So this video, I mean, I mean, I think it was therapeutic for me to, to be with my family and, uh, you know, do what I should have done the past two years. I should have already been down there, but I'm thankful that, that, you know, people get to, to see that, you know, that's, that's life. And this is the real thing.